Some Wally Scope users are frequent users and have asked for a way to get even more rigidity out of the XYZ stage. So I've come up with a way to use the Dynalite, um, Dynalite accessories for the Dynalite uh, USB scopes um, for this process. And I have an adapter that's available for you. So here you'll see that the Wally Scope has been mounted to the uh, RK10A Dynalite uh, Y axis and with this additional accessory of the RK10PX2. Um, these are the web pages uh, for it up here, just so you can kind of familiarize yourself with, with, with them. So what this whole system offers is, of course, um, a Z axis, very finely controlled and, and tightly controlled. And I also get um, an X axis, fore and aft, and I get this also, a Y axis. So this is my focus control. Um, so to make this all work, I needed to make this adapter. So I believe I'll start making a, the Wally Scope available either in the standard version, which is currently on the web page, or with this uh, adapter. Um, adapter looks like this. It, it, it clips on to the vertical post that is found right here on this, this part of the RK10PX2. A um, couple notes about installation. In order for this system to be as rigid as possible, you want to have the center of gravity of this whole system as close as possible to this post. All right. So this is why this system, let me loosen this up so you can see. This is why this system, I don't want, moment, I don't want it aiming this way. Plus there'd be an obstruction. I want the center of gravity as close as possible to this post. And, and, and so, so the, the, that's also why you would not have this arm way out here. Have it as close as possible. You'll also notice that well, this is a cinch screw to, to lock this, this armature down, this RK10PX2. It has some variable play in it. And because of the weight distribution of the Wally Scope, it will want to sag down. Well, we don't want that. So you'll want to tilt it up and then lock it into place. Okay, and then it should stay there. Then, of course, this set screw... Get this set screw tied down so it doesn't spin in place. And for those of you who are frequent users, I mean, these parts aren't cheap. Uh, the um, the Dynalite sells this main post for 300 bucks and this is another 135. So it's, it does cost more money, but it does add a little bit more rigidity to the system. There are some compliant feet that come on the bottom I've replaced mine with more rigid feet, so you should consider that possibility as well. Rigidity in a microscopic system, a micro microscope system, is very important. Let me know if you got any questions. Thank you.